Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to mix it up because you guys might know me as the person with the biggest sweet tooth ever, which technically I am, but I also do love making healthy, savory food as well because that's pretty much what I eat majority of the time. So today I thought I would actually mix it up a little bit and make some popcorn chicken nugget bites. So this recipe is actually inspired from my Goodness Me box, which I received in the mail this month. So this is the June Goodness Me box. And can we just appreciate how pretty this packaging is? Like, come on, seriously. They've literally just changed the packaging and this is what it is now. So I'm just obsessed with Goodness Me box. Um, and pretty much what it is, it's a subscription box. Every single month they send you new, trendy, delicious health food products for you to try before you go and buy the full size item. So in my box this month was these crispy rice flours. And honestly, these have been my favorites for probably a few months now. I discovered them in Woolworths and they have a salt and vinegar flavor, which is insanely delicious. So this one is actually a sriracha sass flavor. And what I'm going to do is use this as the crumbing for my chicken nugget bites, which I'm so excited about. And if you did want to get yourself a goodness me box, even just like a one month subscription or a three month subscription, you can use my code, which is just Brittany, and it will give you 10% off your entire order. You're welcome. So without further ado, let's get straight into the chicken nuggies. If I'm being honest, I actually haven't had chicken nuggets in years but I'm really, really, really excited for this recipe. So let's do it. So I'm going to start by making the batter. So I've just got one egg, which I'm going to crack into a bowl. And then we're just going to whisk that up. And then to this bowl, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of flour. This is just spelt flour, but you could use Plain flour, buckwheat flour, any flour that you want. Okay, and before I keep mixing, I'll then add in a teaspoon of almond milk as well. So this is just going to create like that batter around the nugget before we coat it in the crumbing. So this is going to help the crumbs stick. Perfect. So then in my second bowl, I'm going to make up the crumbing mixture. So I'm going to add in the packet of the crispy rice clouds and some almond meal, some sesame seeds, and some herbs and spices, and all that good stuff. Okay, so literally, these are the tastiest things ever. They're very, very crispy. And delicious, my bad. So I want this to be a crumbing consistency, so I'm just going to hold the bag closed and just use my hand to crush them into crumbs. I'm then going to add in two tablespoons of almond meal. Actually, we'll make that three. Three tablespoons of almond meal and some sesame seeds. So just a tablespoon of sesame seeds. And because the chips are salted, I'm not going to add much salt. I'm just going to add some pepper. So a good crack of pepper. And then if you want, you can also add in some mixed herbs. So just a little sprinkle. And then with a clean fork, just mix that all together. When it comes to the chicken, I have four chicken tenderloins, which was around 260 grams, but you could also use cauliflower florets if you wanted to and just make those into little bite-sized pieces. They would work perfectly fine as well. And if you guys have seen that trend going around on TikTok, with the buffalo cauliflower wings. You could literally do the same, but with this mixture and it would be delicious. So I'm gonna use chicken for this recipe, but remember, 
you can use any sort of base as you want. So the process is extremely easy. All we're gonna do is just get our piece of chicken, which I have chopped into a little nugget size. Just dip that into the egg and flour mixture. And then into your crumbs. Make sure it's evenly coated. And there's no chicken pieces that are left behind. Okay, so now our chicken is all coated and honestly, this looks like it's going to be delicious and I feel like it's just going to be one of those dishes that is just so easy to just keep eating and eating and eating. But that's totally fine because this is a guilt-free chicken nugget recipe. And I also should mention that these are 100% gluten-free, they are vegan and they are MSG free and the ingredients are actually really really clean as well so they are a really healthy little snack if you just want these with some dip or something which they're really good with hummus might i add um, or if you're wanting to create these little crunchy chicken nuggies so obviously what i have to do now is cook them and i'm going to do that in my air fryer i'm aware that not everybody has an air fryer but i feel like a lot of people do at the moment but if you don't have an air fryer you can either bake them in the oven or fry them in a little bit of coconut oil avocado oil or grapeseed oil so i better go get my air fryer and if you have no idea what an air fryer is it's pretty much this big thing that's bigger than me and it's a fryer that doesn't use any oils so it's a lot better for you um, and it also makes some pretty delicious things so i really recommend them if you've been considering getting one this is just from kmart it does the job perfectly fine i don't use it all the time because i still love using my oven but for quick little jobs this thing is perfect so i just want to place them into the air fryer make sure that they're not overlapping as well even if you're cooking them on the stove or in the oven you want to make sure that they're nicely separated just so that they all can cook evenly and that all the sides can get nice and crispy and crunchy and delicious. I'm just going to put it on 200 degrees for 15 minutes. It's been 13 minutes exactly and the house is starting to smell really good. And I just wanted to kind of check them out, see how good they were. And guys, just wait for this. Look how golden and crispy and delicious these look. Like, like, are you kidding me? How good does this look? So they're perfectly cooked on the inside. They are very hot, so I'm just gonna leave them in here just to cool down before I taste them and burn my mouth like I usually would. I'm just gonna leave this aside now to cool whilst we make a delicious, delicious tahini dipping ranch sauce. One of my favorites. So with this tahini ranch dipping sauce, let me tell you, you're gonna to wanna to make it because it's just super delicious. You can also make it for salad dressings and you won't regret it, it is that good. And all you're gonna need is some hulled tahini, some Dijon mustard, some almond or coconut milk, some lemon juice, and some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to start by adding in one tablespoon's worth of tahini. I'm then going to add in about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm then just going to cut a small lemon in half and just use a little bit of the juice to start with. You don't want to make it too lemony because it will be very acidic and sour. So just add it a little bit at a time until you like how it tastes. And then with the almond milk, gosh, I usually don't measure this out. So this is actually pretty hard. Um, probably say like a tablespoon worth. Yeah, we'll say a tablespoon of milk, almond milk, coconut milk, whatever you want to use. And then add in some pepper and a good crack of salt and just keep stirring it together. And I'm going to add in another teaspoon of mustard as well. And that is perfect. I feel like the right thing to do right now is to have a taste test because I've got to obviously tell you how good they are. So 
So I'm gonna go for this big juicy guy right here. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. That is so good. It tastes like it should be really naughty, like KFC chicken or something. That is really, really good. I'm so happy I did this. Mm. I hate to say this, but I think I'm actually a genius. That was delicious and I am excited to keep eating these after I turn the camera off. So if you guys are wanting to get your hands on some of these chips, don't forget to either get yourself your goodness me subscription because guys, trust me when I say this, you will not regret it. Each month the boxes are absolutely insane. They are delicious. The food that comes in them is so good. And I found so many new brands in there that I never would have known of unless I had tried their products in the goodness me box. And they are now some of my new favorite brands and products. So don't forget to use my discount code, which is just Brittany, and you'll get 10% off your entire order. But I also should say that if you are wanting to make this recipe and you haven't got a Goodness Me box subscription, you can pick these up from Woolworths in the health food section or at your local health food store, or even online. I'm sure they have them on their website or even through the Goodness Me website as well. So that is it for today's video. If you guys do recreate this recipe, please don't forget to let me know what you think of it because honestly, I love seeing you guys recreate my recipes and I know that this is going to be a favorite. So don't forget to tag me on Instagram. My handle is Brittany.Chantler and I will just put it on the screen here. And if you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And in the meantime, I'll keep eating the chicken. Mm -hmm. So good.